This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, good morning everyone. Shalom Aleichem, Baruch Hashem. Welcome to today's shir on the parsha. Today's shir is sponsored on behalf of Daily Giving, which is an amazing opportunity for somebody to contribute to a variety of different tzedakahs, which are distributed each day $1. Uh, if you sign up, uh, it's basically you're giving a dollar a day for the entire year, and before Rosh Hashanah, it's a way to amass really many hundreds of mitzvahs and to make sure that every single day one is connected to the mitzvah of tzedakah. You know, even sometimes people go to Shul and they give a dollar a day or a quarter a day. Sometimes they forget, or Shabbos, Yom Tif, So this uh, sort of happens automatically. And uh, you get an email every single day where the tzedakah is distributed to. It's uh, distributed to a, v- a very wide array of uh, tzedakahs. And you could go to dailygiving.org. Okay, so Parshas Kiseitse. So for Parshas Kiseitse, I want to share with you a few Devei Torah. First, we're going to go to our the English sheet. Again, if anybody wants to sign up for the Devei Torah, you could go to our site, rabbidg.com. And you could subscribe and get every Friday the uh, Parsha sheet in English or the Divrei Torah, the Ben La'ashri, in Lashon HaKodesh. Or you could always go to the site and uh, print it out. So we're, we're here. Um, go, it's, we call it Elevate Your Shabbos Table. And this week's Parsha, how does this work? Okay, I'm going to take care of that in a minute. Oh, Kiseitse. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I'm going to share with you. Because sharing is caring, as you know. And we're going to go to Parshas Kiseitse. And well, the first thing that I want to point out is this Shabbos is the yard site of the Benish Chai. The Benish Chai's yard site is this Shabbos Yud Gimel Elol. And the Benish Chai... In the Sefer Oid Yosef Chai, he points out that we know when the Torah comes to the, the midst of Hashavas Aveda, Loisura Shara Chicha Oyeseyoi Nidachim Hisalamta, Mehem Hashev Teshivem La Achicha. And we have this double, double Ashen, Hashev Teshivem. Return, you shall surely return. Why the double Ashen, Hashev Teshivem? So the Benish Chai, again, whose yard site is the Shabbos, explains as follows. In Mesech Tatainis, Daf Chav Hei, um, the Gemara tells a story that chickens were left at the doorstep of Rechanir ben Doisa, and they were laying eggs. His wife brought the eggs into the house. So Rebbe Chanina said, don't eat the eggs. They have to be returned. But then chicks were born. And then Rebbe Chanir ben Doisa bought goats. So when the original owner returned... He gave back the goats. So from here we see as follows, that not only do you have to return the item itself, but whatever came as a result of that original item, you also have to return. So the Torah says, Hashev Teshivem, because not only do you need to return the item, you need to return that which uh, results from the item. Okay, another beautiful idea. Uh, Rav Tzvi Pesach Frank says over the following story that Rabbi Kibeger once visited a city and uh, to visit a certain relative. So they asked Rabbi Kibeger, why are you visiting this relative? Your relative should come visit you. Isn't it Zakein Lefisha Enoi Kavoidai? We know that when it comes to Ashava Saveda, that if you have an elderly person, and he's walking down the street, and on the street, he sees in the mud a yo-yo. So what, Reb Chaim Knievsky has to bend down, pick up the yo-yo, and go find the owner? No, there's a concept, Zakein, um, that if it's beneath the dignity of a Zakein, he's exempt from the mitzvah. So they turned to Rebbe Kiveger and they said, you know, Rebbe, why are you visiting the relative? It's sort of beneath your dignity to visit such a relative. So Rebbe Kiveger would say as follows, when it comes to Hashavah Saveda, the Pasuk says, V'hisalamta. And we darshan, it means, literally it means like this. Don't see the ox or, your, or the sheep of your friend wandering astray. 
and you will think to ignore them. No, you should return it. And the Gemara Darshan's V'hisalamta, Pamim Shatim Asalim. Sometimes you're allowed to ignore. However, says Rabbi Kivega, the Navi Yeshaya says, Umi Besarcha Loi Tesalim. When it comes to a relative, you can never ignore. So while there are exemptions to Ashavas Aveda, there are Avedos one would be permitted to ignore. However, a relative one can never ignore. There's no circumstance where you could say, nah, why should I help out this relative? Why should I visit the relative? A relative is not, you can never ignore. You could ignore an Aveda sometimes, but you can't ignore a relative. Okay, now I want to share with you, I think this is one of the all-time best, Ben La Ashri. Let's see how this works out over here. Yeah. Parshas Kisetze, right? One second. I don't know what happened to it. Here it is. Okay. Parashas Kisetze. Here we go. This is an amazing shot based on the Chayz of Lublin. The Pasuk says, Loi Sira Es chamor achicha oisa shayroi noiflim badarech v'hisalamta mehem hashev teshivem um, hakim takim imai. Do not see. Chaim Zimin, how are you doing? Don't see. Loi sira es chamor achicha oi shayroi noiflim badarech v'hisalamta mehem hakim takim imai. Now, um, the Chais of Lublin says as follows. This is an idea, if you've been following the Shirim, we've come across many times. Chamor always refers to Yishmael, it's called a Chamor. Shoyer is referring to Esav. But on the flip side, Chamor refers to David HaMelech. He's Ani V'Reichiv Al Chamor. Shar refers to Mashiach Ben Yosef. Loi Sira as Chamor. Don't look at Mashiach ben David. O Yishoyrai, or Mashiach ben Yosef. Noiflim. Noiflim is a reference to Mashiach. The Gemara in Sanhedrin says, Sadi Vav Beis. Mashiach is called Bar Nafli. Ba Derech, in Chutz La'aretz. So in other words, you're living in Chutz La'aretz. You're living in New York, New Jersey. You're living in Florida. And you say, look, I'm looking at Mashiach ben David, Mashiach ben Yosef, I'm going to ignore Mashiach, because after all, doesn't the Gemara said, we swore to God we're not going to push the envelope, if you look in the Gemara, Kuf Yod Alpha and Aleph, we took a Shvua, we're not going to force our way back to the land of Israel, we're going to wait until the Almighty redeems us, and we're just going to take it easy in New York, New Jersey, we'll go to Florida sometimes, and God, you let us know when Mashiach comes. Lo Yisira Shor, don't look at Mashiach ben David. V'chamoy, Mashiach ben, Lo Yisira Chamor Achicha, Oiseyoy, don't look at Mashiach ben Yosef. Nidachim, don't look at them. Lost, Noiflim, fallen. V'hisalam tomehem, instead, Hakeim. Now this is an amazing thing. Does anybody know how many words there are in V'haya im shamoya tishma'u el mitzvaysai? That parak. Anybody know? Well, did anybody ever count the words in V'haya im shamoya tishma'u? There's 72 words, I believe, and then 50 words. The first 72 words, Arizal says, corresponds to Hashem's 72 different names. Now this is an amazing thing. The 72 words of Ahaya Im Shamaya Tishma'u refers to, is, a, is connected to Hashem's 72 names. And if you look on top of the word, Ule Avdai, 
you would have the three-letter name of Hashem, Hakeim, Hey Kuf Mem. If you want to know what the 72 names are, you, it's very easy. You take the three psukim in Beshalach, that each have 72 psukim, and using the formula of Yoisher, Hafach, and Yoisher, the first letter of the first pasuk, the last letter of the second, the first of the third, that spells out the first name of Hashem, which is Ani, and we've spoken many times, the 37th name is Vahoi, and if you want a list of all 72 names, get a hold of the Sefer Magad on Pesach, and in the final chapters there's a chart of all the 72 names of Hashem. But the Arizal adds further that the 72 names of Hashem correspond to the 72 first words of Ahayam Shamaya Tishma'u. In fact, I highly recommend that you go out and you get yourself the following Siddur, Masoik Midvash. In the Masak Midvash Siddur, they give you in Vahaya Im Shamaya Tishma'u, on top of each word of the second parasha of Shema, which name of Hashem it corresponds to. By the way, there's another formula besides Yoisher, Hafach, and Yoisher, and that's Yoisher, Yoisher, Yoisher. And do you know how many words there are in Vayoimar Hashem El Moshe Leimar, Dabra El Meneisar Martelam, Vasul Hem Tzitzis? There are also 72 words, and they correspond to Hashem's 72 names, Yoisher, Yoisher, Yoisher. And it's really fascinating looking at the 72 different names. For example, I'll just tell you. And Be'ezus Hashem, I was thinking last night, we have to have a shear just on the 72 different... I'll give you an example. Many people when they give tzedakah, they like to give how much? 18, chai, right? It's a, it's a Jewish thing, 18. 18. Where in the world does that come from? Why do people give 18? Chai. What's the significance of chai? Do you know the joke goes... It's a quarter of 72. It's a quarter, right? So people give a quarter, so, you know, it's like... Some of them give 26 and 101, right? Yeah, that's definitely more generous. The uh, Satmar Chassid once got an aliyah, and he made a Mishaberach, he said he's going to give money, a uh, gematria, the Rebbe's name, Yoel. So the Rebbe called out, they call me Yoelish, you know? <laughs> so... The Benesh Chai, the Benesh Chai whose yard site is uh, this Shabbos, he says that the 18th name of Hashem is Kli, Kli, Kaf Lamed Yud, Kli, which is Kohen Levi Yisrael, which is when Klal Yisrael is together, Ba'achtos, that is the Kli, the receptacle for Hashem's bracha. So 18 is a reference to Hashem's 18th na- name, which refers to the Achdos of Klal Yisrael. That's the significance of 18. The, if you make columns, the eighth name on the eighth column will be Anav. And that's a reference to, Reb Chaim Falaji brings, that's a reference to the fact that a Tamil Chacham should have Gaiva, Shminis, Sheba Shminis. But anyway, on the word Ula Avdai is the three letter name of Hashem. Hakeim. Hakeim. Now, Hakeim is indicating as follows. The Pasuk, the Pasuk reads this way. Loi sira es chamar. Don't look at Meshach ben David off in the distance. Oi shoiroi. Or Meshach ben Yosef. Noi flim. And you're going to say, Vesalam to mehim. I'll ignore them. I can't expedite the geula. You know what you need to do? Hakeim. You have to invoke Hashem's three-letter name of Hakeim. Now, what's Hashem's three-letter name of Hakeim? That is on the word Ule Avdai, which indicates that we are required to try to expedite Mashiach. You can't sit back in the Chutzarts and say, God, wake me up when you're here. We have to try to expedite. And the way we expedite is Ule Avdai. By, through our Avodas Hashem, that is the, the manner with which we're, we expedite the Geula. Hakeim, if we do Hakeim, talk. Takim. Takim is numerically valued as Takain. That will rectify everything. I'll share with you another idea. The Ben Lo Ashri says, three times in Tanakh we have the word Tishalach. Three times in, in Tanakh we have the word Tishalach. We have it by Shluch Hakain. Shalach Tishalach Esoim. 
And we have in Oz Yashir, Tishalach Charoinacha and Tishalach Ruchacha Yibareon. So, what is the significance of these three mentions of the word Tishalach? So, he quotes an amazing Zayar. The Zayar discusses the reasoning of Shiluach Hakain. And the purpose of Shiluach Hakain is it's Malamed Zuchos on Klal Yisrael. That Hashem remembers the mercy he, he has for us. And Hashem redeems us. And the Zoyar asks, well, before we were exiled, why would anyone do Shiloh HaKain? If the purpose of Shiloh HaKain is to bring the Geula, well, when the Beis HaMikdash stood, why did we do Shiloh HaKain? And the answer Reb Shimon gave was to gather the sparks of Kedusha that scattered at the period of what is called Shviras HaKelem. So the Ben La Ashri offers the following remez. Shalach to Shalach, you should do the mitzvah of Shiloh HaKain. Sometimes it's for to Shalach HaRoincha, to be able to cast away God's anger that He should redeem us. But when the Beis HaMikdash was standing, then there was another tachlis of Shiloh HaKain, namely, to Shalach Ruchacha Yibareon. It's to gather those spirits, those sparks, that they could be brought back to Kedusha and recreated. And finally, Rabbi Isai, the last uh, offering, and this I believe is a real winner, on the same uh, words, the three times in Tanakh we have the word Shalach, to, uh, the word Tishalach, Shalach Tishalach Esoim, Tishalach Haroincha, and Tishalach Ruchacha Yibareon. And the Ben Lo Ashri says as follows. He says, the Gemara in Kedushan asks, don't you know the story? The father asked the kid to bring the pigeons and he climbed up to do Shlach HaKain and he fell and he died. What happened to Laman Yita, Laman Yita Vlach, Laman Harachta Yamim? And the answer is, Schara B'hayam Aleka, there's no reward in this world. Darich HaSyamim is an Olam Abba. So watch this. Shalach Teshalach Es Ho'eim Be Mekayim in the midst of Shiluach HaKain But I have a question Teshalach HaRoincha But sometimes through the mitzvah A person is punished It looks like a person could Incur damage By being Mekayim in the mitzvah The mitzvah is not foolproof Aren't there times where somebody was endangered By being Mekayim in the mitzvah I have a question on the Teshalach What about Teshalach HaRoincha and the answer is Teshalach Ruchacha. The real reward is at the time of Tchia Samesim, B'yayim Shekulay Toiv, B'yayim Shekulay Arach. Okay, so these are a few thoughts on the Parsha. If you want the full uh, edition of the Ben La Ashri on the Parsha, you could go to our site. And if you see over here, you have the Ben La Ashri on the Parsha, the Ramban on the Parsha, the Balaturim on the Parsha. And if after listening to all those three Shurim, your wife says, okay, you, you know, you need to keep yourself busy. You could continue. There are other shirim that you could listen to as well. And this way I you could... Fall for Shabbos. Yeah, if you know how to do that, then definitely. But uh, <laughs> Okay, Rabbi Isai, we're going to go to the tefillah shir momentarily. Thank you. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.